learners, welcome to our first English lesson in the third quarter. It's me, Teacher Liza Bungansiso, and I'm glad that we are together for a few minutes of virtual learning. I have here a set of pictures and jumbled letters. I want you to look for its commonalities in order for you to guess the word related to our topic today. I will give you 5 seconds to do so. Time is up and the word is Multimedia Number 1. It is a primary component of multimedia which is by using different fonts, colors, and styles. You get it! It's text. Number 2. It is one of the components of multimedia. It is a music, speech, or any other sound. Correct! It's audio. Number 3. It is a digital representation of non-text information such as drawing, photographs, etc. You're right! It is graphics. Number 4. It presents the sequence of still images of artwork at a rapid speed that looks like the image is moving. You're correct! It's animation. And for number 5, it presents moving pictures and typically combines images and sound for a compelling multimedia experience. Very good! It is video. Congratulations for completing the missing letters. The words we identified from the activity are text, Audio, graphics, animation, and video. These words are our topic for today's lesson. These are multimedia resources. Have you heard about these words? If not, don't worry because we will discuss them in an easy and simple way today. What is multimedia? Multimedia is a combination of text, graphics, sound, animation, and video to effectively communicate ideas to users. It is a technology which stores data as text, photo, animation, music, video, and gives the method to collect and modify the data as required. Whereas, multimedia system is a system which has capability to integrate two or more types of media such as text, graphics, audio, video, and animation. And multimedia technology allows storing data and information for further reference. CD-ROOM is a cheap, durable, and portable storage used to store data and information. Advantages of Multimedia it can be used to help the student and teacher to teach as well as to learn the given topics easily. It can be used to spread knowledge all over the world in a low cost. It can be used for any subjects and for anyone. Multimedia systems are generally very interactive, so it is interesting to use. Disadvantages of Multimedia It is expensive to produce multimedia systems. It is expensive to set up multimedia contents. It needs well-trained manpower to create and use it. Here are the different types of multimedia. Text. It is the primary component of multimedia. 
most of the information can be presented with the help of text. We can emphasize the text by using different fonts, colors, and styles. Graphics A digital representation of non-text information such as drawing and photographs. Audio is one of the most important components of multimedia. It is music, speech, or any other sound. It is normally combined with animation media. Video The effective medium for presenting information. It presents the moving images. It displays the sequence of slightly varied pictures at a speed of 15 to 30 frames per second. An animation it is a medium which presents the sequence of still images of artwork at a rapid speed that looks like the image is moving. I think you are now ready for another activity. Activity 2. What type of multimedia resources will be employed in each of the following situations? Number 1. Aya listened a song from Spotify. Is it A. Text? B. Video C. Audio or D. Animation Number 2. Mrs. Dakwa asked her students to research through YouTube. A. Graphics B. Video C. Text D. Animation Number 3. Mr. Torrijano asked Victor to create an inanimate object that appears to move a audio b video c graphics d animation number four janeline was asked to gather pictures for her photo gallery is it a animation b video c graphics or d text and for number five Quizzy joy wrote a short essay about the COVID-19 pandemic. Is it A. Text, B. Audio, C. Graphics, or D. Animation? Time to check your answers! Number 1. Text, 2. Video, 3. Animation, 4. Graphics, and 5. Text. Wow! We have just completed activity 2. Identify the following multimedia resources. Let's check your answers. Number one is D. 2. C. 3. D. 4. B. And 5. C. This is amazing! We have just completed the activities in our lessons today. And we have learned the different multimedia resources. Remember that multimedia are helpful in making us understand certain things better. These are especially helpful and timely during this time of distance education. So, what is your most unforgettable lesson for today? That's great! As I say goodbye, always remember that learning is easy with mom lies and that learning English is full of fun. Thank you and goodbye!